So Elon had been floating for a while that he might start his own social media company as an alternative to Twitter because he's been greatly disturbed by their censorship and the power that they've been uh, exercising over the public discourse. Uh, so instead, he seems to have gone the other way. Uh, in a shocking <laughs> move, he bought up 9% of the stock. It makes him the largest uh, stockholder. Um, and it's an open question how he's going to use that power. Is he going to push back against the new CEO? The old CEO, Jack Dorsey, actually tried to hold the line up to a certain point on freedom of speech and giving in to the mob. Uh, the new CEO just went all in on um satisfying the woke crowd with uh with its policies um musk presumably is going to push back on this ceo uh, and certainly the ceo is not in an enviable position i mean he's a, you know musk is the proverbial 400 pound gorilla you know yeah you, you basically you have someone on the board of directors who's a lot bigger than you are you know in terms of wealth power and influence um so yeah does he turn around and say we need to put trump back on twitter like what is what does he do i mean musk 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 is a loose cannon at the best of times like who knows what he's going to advocate for uh, on the on the board of twitter um personally i think trump should be back on twitter because of everything that comes with that like i mean it, it, it's for it's our I mean, sake i would love trump back on twitter <laughs> I mean, it's not about wanting Trump on Twitter. You wouldn't be it's so about, desperate for material if he were back on Twitter. It, it's it's about shifting the whole way that they're running Twitter. Um. So yeah, you know, I mean, he he could have a serious impact on these elections if he really leans on Twitter to go to a neutral policy. Um. You know, you, you just had a kind of a mea culpa from the Times and from uh, the Washington Post, as far as they're going to go anyway, in terms of admitting that Hunter Biden's laptop was real. Um, the story was reported completely wrong. Uh, but you look at what Twitter did with shutting down the original Post story. Um, you know, maybe Musk can get the company to adopt a neutral policy. I think that's the only policy that makes any sense. It, it, it always gets taken for granted that the woke mob, uh, you know, is dominating Twitter and that you get censored uh, by Twitter for being, you know, too uh, unwoke. And look, I'm, I'm not going to deny that that is a problem. Of course it is. But it actually goes far beyond that. Uh, they just suspended a guy named Scott Ritter, who is a UN's weapons inspector uh, for basically just questioning the, you know, establishment Russia Ukraine narrative, you know, um, put out, you know, a fairly, you know, uh, I won't say a benign tweet, but it was it was just a piece of analysis that questions the innocence of the, you know, Ukrainian military and all of this. They suspended his account for harassment which is clearly not Who, who's he who's he harassing exactly right who is he harassing right he's not harassing anybody it's complete bullshit complete bullshit and so this is an example because i, I always like to point this out whenever people are saying that it's the woke it's you know it's the woke left who's having their way with people on social media i mean that's true to an extent i mean we've talked about that a great deal but it's not just the woke left it's it first of all the woke left i would argue is too joined at the hip with the center left on certain issues and they enforce a status quo. And the way they enforce a status quo is by silencing people who question it. So there's nothing there's right. nothing unwoke necessarily about what Scott Ritter said. But he challenged the official oh, yeah. narrative. And That's they another him well, well, it was the same thing with the Hunter Biden laptop. That wasn't well, right, exactly. a woke thing. That was right. an establishment. That was thing. an establishment thing. And so they are as guilty of this as anybody else, is just the point that I wanted to make. The other thing about Musk is like, look. I think Elon Musk is a fucking sociopath. I mean, Elon Musk has tweeted yeah. gleefully yeah. about stealing lithium from South American countries in order to, you know, fuel his cars. I mean, the guy is a fucking, you know, reptile. He's, and he's he's in the he's in the middle of a of a employment discrimination lawsuit. 
Yeah, I mean, he seems to me like it's just a completely amoral human being. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, And so I'm not used to defending Elon Musk, and I think it's a very uh, sad statement about where we are as a society and where the left is as an organization, that people on the left are in a position where we have to feel good about Elon Musk <laughs> buying 9% of Twitter. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. pretty pathetic when you think about it. Because we're it not is. supposed to be happy about... I mean, think of the absurdity of this. Let's say Bill Gates, right, who is a more establishment-aligned oligarch, right? Not the sort mm -hmm. of wild-card renegade that Musk is, right? Let's say he says, well, you know what? I don't like this move towards free speech. I'm going to buy 15%. And then Musk says, oh, yeah? Well, I'm buying 20%. You literally have these two billionaire oligarchs in a bidding war to determine... Uh, how online speech is to be disseminated. Think of how dystopian that is. Think of how anti-democratic that is. This is why I always say capitalism is anti-democratic, because why should it matter? What of impact on the public discourse should Elon Musk or Bill Gates have? In a democratic society, it would be fucking irrelevant. It would be fucking irrelevant, be but because the public square has now been privatized and corporatized online through this small handful of social media companies, it's very important who owns those companies. And whoever owns those companies is going to be a well-connected billionaire. And how they yep. feel about upholding constitutional standards is going to have a tremendous impact on uh, what people get to say and get away with. What what could be well? well of it? course, I mean it's a it's an extension of of Bill Gates being the de facto health czar, and then going out and making nonsense arguments for why you can't lift the uh, the IP on the right, COVID right, vaccine. Right. He straight out lied. He just straight out lied. Oh yeah, no, it's not that. They just don't have the facilities to manufacture it. Total bullshit. They have the facilities. They they could manufacture the vaccine. Um, so I mean that really illustrated how dangerous it is that these billionaires are basically serving functions that should be served by elected officials or appointed officials people who have some kind of fucking accountability <laughs> to, to the to the people whereas a guy like gates you know he could just go up there and say whatever the fuck he wants he's not working for the government he's not violating any oath that he right, took right, exactly. right? He, he can protect his pharma buddies all he wants. He's not accountable for his actions. Um, so yeah, you're right. You're right. I mean, you're going back to the days when they used to have to go to JP Morgan to bail out the economy when the uh, stock market would crash, when you didn't have a federal reserve, they would have to go right. to Morgan to, to literally bail out the country. Um, yeah. We're, we're going back to that where uh, we're just, we're just uh, bootlickers and these people are dictating the course of society. And we don't really have any sector of we don't have any institutions that are powerful enough to fight back against them. At this point, the government has been so corrupted. The government is supposed to be the sector of society that could stand up to that. And the media, for that matter, is so corrupted, like right. the, the, the two institutional um, bases in society, they're supposed to counterbalance that kind of wealth and influence in the private sector have been co-opted and bought by the private sector. So there is no one there to uh, stand up against it. Please clap. <laughs>